This is WWE superstar Bad News Barrett, and you're listening to The Riff. It's Meltdown here, SmackDown, in town, Sonny Joe Louis Serena here with uh, Wade, Bad News Barrett. Welcome to the Motor City. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. You know, I think I saw on your Twitter something about Detroit, the hometown. What, what is that supposed to mean? You know, that's a running joke. It's been going for a few years. Um, when I first came to the States, um, I noticed everybody was knocking Detroit, and I didn't really realize why. And then, uh, so whenever people started asking me, when they hear the accent, where are you from? I'd always just say Detroit. <laughs> and then people were like, really? It doesn't sound like Detroit. But I just picked up and decided that was going to be my home, t- my American hometown. Anyway. Well, you're from Manchester, right? Uh, near Manchester, a place called Preston, which okay. is very close. Yeah. Now, is that kind of like Detroit? Uh, it actually is, you know, it's a uh, blue collar town. It's kind of a little rundown at the moment, but we're going to bounce back sooner or later, I'm sure. Just like Detroit. Exactly. Just like you. Just like me. Yeah, I get knocked down a lot, but I always get back <laughs> up again. I was thinking about this before I started talking to you. You and I are kind of the same. Well, with the exception of the 12 inches, probably, you know, the, the sexy British accent and <laughs> the wrestling and the 15 size shoe. Mm-hmm. We're kind of the same. Exactly, it's like twins, <laughs> Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right. We can make the, we can do the remake. Exactly, that's, that's what I was talking about. But uh, so, what's what's going on with you? Because uh, last night I know that, that like just chaos breaks loose. What's going on with this title? Here? Yeah, I don't know what is the the problem with guys these days. It used to be a traditional thing. If you wanted a championship, you had to beat somebody for right. it. But everyone just keeps stealing my title at the moment. I think uh, it's changed hands about twenty times in recent weeks. I'm still the Intercontinental Champion. Let's get that clear. Okay. But currently, it is in the possession of Archer truth and i'm sure tonight smackdown at the joe we're gonna have more trials and tribulations and and, and hopefully it's gonna end up back in my hands you're bigger than these guys just smack around and take it yeah, back yeah i know i'm a little soft though sometimes <laughs> they they beat me up pretty badly you know if it's my day I, i'm pretty good but it's not often my day unfortunately now uh i'm friends with some former like nhl hockey guys some enforcers and stuff and their knuckles are all beat up from punching guys and you were actually a bare knuckle brawler yeah that's right that's how i and started your knuckles off, pretty good and, uh, they're not bad these days they're a little bit beat up i mean i got a few cuts and stuff like that on there but uh yeah they're uh and that's how i started off but i always ultimately wanted to get to wwe i was a huge wwe fan growing up i always wanted to get to wwe and uh, thankfully i made it yeah and uh looking back on your childhood and stuff when you were watching wwe i think i heard you know you used to watch the rock and stone cold and stuff what's it like the first time you meet some of these guys i know you were talking about it just a few minutes ago with our sister station but like you see the the rock walk into a room i mean there's a there's a legend in the business or stone cold yeah, it's really, it's kind of intimidating when you first see them, but the, the cool thing about wrestling is there's kind of a brotherhood between the wrestlers where someone like a, a Stone Cold or a Rock or a Bret the Hitman Hart, they'll they'll see me as a wrestler, a guy from the locker room, and they will literally treat you as a, as a brother or as a, mm-hmm. an equal, which is really strange when you, you see these guys that you've been watching for years and years, and they become huge stars, especially a guy like the Rock, he's in Hollywood and all that stuff, and he just comes in and he treats you as his complete equal, and you know, hey buddy, how's life, and this, that, and the other, he's asking about what's going on, and you know, it's kind of weird that, 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 you know, guys that you looked up to as a kid, you know, on the, the kind of, on a level with them, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I sometimes I ask uh, uh, rock bands and stuff, if you could play with someone dead or alive, who would it be? If you could wrestle with someone dead or alive, who would it be? 100%. Unfortunately, it's, uh, he passed away a few years ago, but the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith, mm-hmm. when I was a kid, he was absolutely my hero, my number one. And, uh, yeah, I would love to have been able to get in the ring with him. Now, uh, WrestleMania is uh, right down the pipe. Uh, what are you working for towards that? Well, I've already got a match scheduled, although I don't quite know who all of my opponents are right. at this point. It's uh, I think it's 19 days away till WrestleMania. Um, I'm going to be in an Intercontinental Championship ladder match, which is basically where the Intercontinental Championship is suspended above the ring about 20 feet in the air, and the winner of the match has to pick up a ladder, set it up in the ring, climb up, and uh, and rip the uh, the title down, which sounds easy, but then when you've got to consider there's probably going to be about seven or eight other guys in the match. Mm. Every time you climb up the ladder, there's going to be people shoving it over. People can pick up the ladder, use it as a weapon, and hit you with it. So uh, it should be pretty exciting, but uh, it, it can be very painful and very dangerous. Yeah, I've seen a lot of these ladder matches in the past, and I'll tell you what, if uh, some of these guys were working on like my roof, I would fire them because they go up the, mat- the ladder so slowly. <laughs> right? that, that is true that's uh you know sometimes you you're really exhausted from the match you can be hard to climb but uh maybe, maybe some people have a fear of climbing I if i know. see my roofers swinging ladders at their partners 
There's going to be problems. I move up those ladders fast, though, believe me. I just, uh, you know, it's it's the coming down fast that is the problem. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Well, not only, you know, you got the 20-foot ladder and stuff, so now you're an extra, you know, four feet above the uh, the crowd or something. I mean, it's got to get a little hairy up there sometimes. Yeah, and those rings, I mean, they're uh, they're pretty wobbly. They're, they're not as sturdy as they might look on TV. So those ladders, when you get up the top, they move around a lot. And uh, a few of the guys actually have vertigo. I know Daniel Bryan has vertigo. He is that right? He not like going up ladders at all. And, uh, you know, he's possibly going to be in that match. He's kind of in the mix for it at the moment so we'll see and uh, speaking of uh of matches and uh rings i should say uh you grew up actually like putting them up well in your, in your younger days so you know all about this stuff it's almost like the kid rock song american badass where you know he built the stages he traveled the country you've done all this stuff right from the uh, bottom up as well that's it i really started at the the absolute bottom in wrestling and uh you know traveling around the uk when i first started out for about three years really earning nothing and, and wrestling in front of very small crowds and Part of paying your dues back then is uh, is putting rings up and, and taking them down and carrying the boards back into trucks and stuff like that for the next show. So, yeah, I, I absolutely started off uh, at the very bottom. Now, you're uh, 34 years old. Have you ever thought about what you're going to do when wrestling's over? Yeah, I have. It's something that's definitely crossed my mind. I think I've got quite a few years left in me yet in the, mm. the wrestling world, hopefully, anyway. Um, but I really enjoy sports broadcasting. I've done a little bit of that in the past. Um, I really enjoy commentating on, on wrestling itself, so that's an option. Um, I've done a little acting before. I was fortunate enough to get in a film with Colin Farrell in uh, 2012 called Dead That's Man where you had Down. to use a, a New York voice. I did. I did a very bad job with the New York <laughs> voice. So maybe maybe next time we need an English film for me to get in, I can just use my normal voice. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely an option, too. So I'm pretty open-minded about the future, and we'll, we'll see what I fall into next. And people may not know, but you're a marine biologist. That's like the... That's absurd. Yeah, I, I'm a, a, a marine biologist from the University of Liverpool. That was kind of my career plan up until the age of about 22. And then I say, you know what? This isn't quite what I want to do. I want to be a wrestler instead. <laughs> so a slight <laughs> career change. Right, exactly. Would you ever go back to that? Um, uh, it's uh, it's not quite as glamorous as I thought it sounded when I started studying. Wrestling is more glamorous it's, than marine biology. Uh, definitely, there's a lot of glam. There's also a lot of grime to wrestling too. It's kind of wrestling's a fifty-fifty mix. It's uh, it's great when the spotlight's on you, when the spotlight's not there. It's it's not quite as glamorous as it might seem. Sometimes. I hear you, but. Yeah, no, uh, you know, um, I, I still enjoy marine biology. I just don't think my future's in that field. Yeah, a lot of the travel and everything, I guess. And, well, yeah, it's, it's a hard life, man. Absolutely. But, but it's, it's been worth life. it, eh? Absolutely. I'm having a great time. Yeah, awesome. Well, listen, I know you guys got to go. You got a lot of stuff going on here. This is your last interview of the day. And, uh, good luck tonight SmackDown and, of Thank course, uh, down the road much. to WrestleMania. And thanks for visiting the Riff here in your hometown of Detroit. My pleasure.